Hi guys, so today's video is going to be on how and where to listen to heart sounds. And before we get started, this video is sponsored by realnursetalk.com. They recently posted a blog article on their website titled The Number One Way to Anonymously Stop Healthcare Fraud in the Workplace Setting. So I will leave that link down below and make sure you go and check it out. So you've probably noticed that I am not the only one in the video. This is the first time we have a special guest and this is my husband. You guys John Cena! And this is my husband, and he is going to be my test dummy, I guess you could say, for this video. And you guys probably already know him if you watch our vlogging channel, so if you don't know our vlogging channel, then I will leave that down below. But anyways, this video I'm going to be covering where and how to listen to heart sounds. This is a very basic assessment. I'm not going to be getting into super detail about the specific heart sounds that you're listening to but this is just kind of a general overall assessment for where you should start when you're starting your um, basic auscultation assessments. The first thing you're going to need is a stethoscope and a patient, <laughs> or you could listen on yourself. And basically there are a total of five spots that you listen to when you listen to the heart. And there's an acronym that I learned called A Pet Mouse, and I will explain those as I go along. But basically it stands for aortic, pulmonic, herbs point, tricuspid, and mitral, and those represent all of your valves except for herbs point. So I'm not going to put my stethoscope in my ears or else I can't really hear myself, but the first spot that you want to listen to is your the aortic spot, and this is going to be right of the midsternal border, which your midsternal border is right here, and it's going to be in the second intercostal space, so basically the second rib. And in a some of your patients, you can feel this, but you can kind of just gauge where it is, but you can feel down on the ribs and you can feel where their second intercostal space is. So that's the first spot that you're listening to. You're listening to the aortic valve. Now, you want to hear a lub-dub, You want, which is your S1 and S2. If there's any gallops, any irregularity in the rhythm, any rubbing sounds, or any murmurs, any swooshes in the heartbeat, then that is abnormal. The next spot is going to be left of the midsternal border and the second intercostal space, and this is going to be where you're listening to the pulmonic valve. Then you're going to go kind of basically not quite on the sternum, but a little bit to the left of it, and it's going to be in your third intercostal space, and this is where you listen to herbs point. Now I have heard, and this is what I was taught, I don't know how true this is, but I have been told that herbs point is one of the best spots to listen to murmurs. Now I've heard differentiating opinions on this as well, so that is just what I learned in school. I'm not sure how accurate that is, but I was told herbs point is one of the best spots to listen to murmurs. Uh, then you're going to go down to the fourth intercostal space left of the midsternal border, and that's where you're going to listen to your tricuspid valve. Um, then the last spot is mouse, or M, and that's going to be your mitral valve, and that's going to be fifth intercostal space and it's going to be left of the midsternal border, but it's going to be over by the apex of the heart. So that's where you're going to listen to here. Now, one of the best things that you can actually do is have your patient turn on their left side, because when they go to their left side, that pushes the heart over towards their left side, and that you can really listen to better heart sounds. So if you're trying to accurately listen to heart sounds, have your patient turn to the left side, and when you listen to that mitral valve area, then you're going to hear a really clear heart rhythm or irregularity. So that is how you listen to heart sounds. Again, I'm sorry this is not a very in-depth video, but that's a, just a basic assessment. If you guys have any questions, leave it in the comments below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Bye!